，我现在密歇根州立大学，我旁边这个是谢教授，是这个学校的终身教授。副教授，副教授，副教授啊，你这工作多久了？九年，呃，博士毕业后啊过来。我们专业其实挺多学员感兴趣的，因为是统计和。计算数学，他们以后就是去硅谷啊，什么科技公司去工作，基本上。硅谷，公科技公司或者药厂，或者是大银行、投行啊都有。他现在带我去大学的食堂去吃饭啊。可以可以，来<笑>参观一下，对，参观一下。这是我头一次在美国，什么头一次在美国？这是我在国外第一次进大学的食堂吃饭，<笑>远不远那个那个食堂？啊，不远，就是学校。那这个学校食堂是私人承包的，还是学校自己办的？学校自己办的。学校自己办的。那就不是以盈利为目的的。对对对，美国的大学以不以盈利为目的？像公立大学应该不以盈利为目的吧？那他为什么对外州的人收税收的收费收那么高啊？因为这为了对本州人公平嘛。他对外州收费大概是本州多少钱？可能是两到三倍左右。就普通的专业在这个学校大概一年多少钱？一万多，差不多两万。三个。哎，好，谢谢。在这学校里面找几个学生采访一下，但是好像还不好找，为什么？因为大家都走得很匆忙啊，没看到谁特别有空的样子，而且有相当一部分人从他们脸上看的是苦大仇深的，就觉得压力很大的样子。看前面那个女的哇，要驼背往前冲。I'm shooting video. Can I ask you a few questions? Ah,、uh, no, please. Okay, okay. Okay. I'm shooting a video. Can I ask you a few questions? Oh, oh, yeah, sure.、Uh, just a normal question. Don't worry. It's not sensitive question. So,、uh, what are your plans after graduation? Um, I want to get my master's and be a registered dietitian. You? Oh, I'm still undecided. I haven't figured it out yet. Um, I'm gonna go to law school. Find a job and get paid a decent amount. Make a family, start a family, buy a house. I don't know. I'm only a freshman, so. I haven't looked that far ahead in the future. And you? I want to have a restaurant. So what's your major? Yeah. I'm horticulture. I want to have a farm to table restaurant.、Mm -hmm. So your family supports you? Yeah.、Oh. How do you define success? Being happy and liking going to work every day. Yeah, being able to support the lifestyle you want and being happy with it. I'm going into Teach for America, which is a two-year teaching program where I'll earn my teaching certificate. Hopefully to find a job. If not, I'll do a master's program somewhere, either at MSU or somewhere else. I'm planning to do my MBA. Hopefully, I get an internship from Microsoft or Google. I want to go into UX design. I actually, I want to live on the West Coast, like maybe in Seattle. Uh, hopefully find a job somewhere here in Michigan. Um, I plan to work towards a master's and then a PhD potentially.、So? I want to work as like a wildlife biologist. Um, I think I'm gonna be a teacher. I define success as me finding happiness in what I'm doing. Working hard, like a good work work ethic, putting effort into what you do. Doing what you want to do that makes you happy. I think you would be considered successful. Where do I find success?、Mm -hmm. Um, just in the people around me, like my family and stuff. So like I see that I'm having success, and I find it there. Uh, just living a happy life. If I'm happy, if I'm content, I don't need to be super rich or anything. But as long as I'm, I'm happy.、Uh, which country your family from? Vietnam. Just、uh, if I'm able to succeed、uh, professionally and、uh, personally, keep my goals、uh, up to date. Whether it be my personal life or academic life. I don't think about the family is、so、very important in career. Yeah, so, equally as important. Equal. Yeah, at least I think、um, right now, and then maybe as I progress and develop my education and stuff, I'll focus on my career more. But if you can choose only one, what do you choose? Uh, family. <laughs> Being happy with whatever you're doing, I think like if you can learn as much as you can. Travel as many places as possible, like meet as many people as you can. Like that's success. It doesn't have anything to do with money, in my opinion. It's not about money. No. So maybe I guess your success is more experience. Experience, exactly. I want to experience everything. <laughs>、um, I define success as what's best for you and what giving your all looks like, and really working hard. I think maybe like a monetary value, how much I'm making a year. What skills do you think are the most important for success in your life?、Uh, confidence is a big one,、um, and just being yourself. Being yourself, good enough. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, practical skills. 
Oh, practical skills. Um, knowing how to work in a team is a big one. Um, sorry? Yeah, absolutely. And I guess the confidence is another part of that, really. What was the hope of your family? They probably hope I like make a lot of money. <laughs> um, but yeah, they probably want the same for me, just a happy life initiative. The most important skills for success in my life? Mm -hmm. Public speaking. Speaking? Yep. Why speaking? I chose speaking because I feel like that's the most essential way to communicate with others. Convince others is very important. Yep. <laughs> so what's your major you take? I'm a business major. Business major? Oh yeah, that, that's why speech is so important for you. Yep. Okay, thank you guy. No problem. Have a nice day. You too. Probably having a good education. Consistency. What job do you prefer in the future? Something in computer science. I'm a computer science major. So which state do you prefer to stay? Michigan, I guess. Michigan. Yeah. But in California, maybe more opportunities. That's true, but uh. Your family here. Family's here. So everything is the first family. First family, I guess, and then if it's a good opportunity, maybe later. Yeah. Yeah, very good. Thank you. Thank you. I'm shooting a video. Can I ask you a few questions? I'm sorry, we have class. Okay, sure. Um, knowing what you want is good, and skills. Um, communicating it and then finding ways to like success. I don't know. I think you need to be forgiving with yourself, but pressure yourself to do take risks. Well, yeah. Thank you, girls. Being able to communicate things and working in groups I think is really big now, especially with like technology and everyone like collaborating on stuff. Skills? Um I think problem solving skills and being able like uh, information literacy. Being able to find lit or find information and determine if it's true or not, and then do what you will ba with that information based on if you think it's actually factual or not. So, what's it taken the most important for your life? Um, I think. Don't, don't tell me, tell me. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, I think um, being kind is always really important. Yeah. yeah, I think kindness can help a lot. I mean, I think if we just try to be kind to everyone, I think that. Cool. Yeah, I think that if everyone just wants to be nice, I think. <laughs> What's your name? Aurelia. Aurelia? Yes. Aurelia? Yes. Like a Russian name? Uh, I think it's Spanish, actually. Spanish? Yeah, I'm not Spanish, oh, though. So, so your family from Europe, right? Um, <laughs> of course, Europe. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which country? Um, like Poland is really primary. Po uh, oh, yeah. Poland. That's Poland. Why, that's why I said like a Russian name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever been to Europe? Um, I've been to London. London? Yeah, yeah, that was it though, just in the very central. So So you don't want to go to Poland and have a look? I'd love to, oh I'd love to, oh my gosh, I would love to. Why but... would you don't go so close? close. So the, I went to London for study abroad, oh. so to study London literature, British literature, so. Since we're waiting here, can I ask you a few questions? I'm shooting a video. Um, I actually have to get to a class right, right now. Yeah, okay. Sorry. The most important thing for success in my life? Yeah, yeah. Moderation, Moderation, finding a balance. If you're facing a challenge, you have to choose one family oh. or career. You choose which one? I think I'd choose family. Your family is more important. Yeah. Parents are struggling and stuff. If my mom suddenly can't support herself anymore, oh. I need to take care of her. That's my thought. Oh, so you, your family live in the state? Yeah. So you want to go to Seattle? No, I still want to travel. My my mom will probably move closer to me. How many siblings do you have? I have four other siblings. Four? Oh. Well, a large family. You don't have to take care of your Very big parents. family. Yeah, probably talking to people, um, being outgoing and not afraid to try new things. What makes you so confident? Oh, I'm not confident in that. Yes, confident. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying my best. Um, I think confidence is just... Um, faking it until you believe things like you might be the most shy person in the world but you just gotta try talking to people and then it'll eventually come naturally you can tell me the american culture of dating oh dating I'm oh from, i'm from china <laughs> <laughs> very casual you know casual. honestly that's been very popular nowadays it's very casual dating how, how casual can this be? oh uh, you don't date to marry you don't agree with that <gasps> oh well I used to participate in that, but I think as you grow older, you start to take your future more seriously and want to find someone that you want to seriously settle your life with and stuff. Uh, that, that's just for me. I know for other people that their plans for after college will look a bit different, but 
I feel like I have a set timeline of what I want to do with marriage and work. But you will have enough experience how you choose the right one. Right, right. From which age you American girls and start dating? When they start dating? Probably very early, honestly. Like middle school even. In middle school. Mm -hmm. But it's serious dating or just like a friend dating? I, I'd hope that it start off very like wholesome. Like just hand holding and hugs in school. Like starting in middle school. But I know a lot of people who have started very early. So as a Asian face living here, do you think it's very different? Oh, I think it is different living as an Asian compared to a white person, yeah. So you prefer uh, make friends uh, like a white guy or Asian guy? Yeah, it doesn't matter, but doesn't matter. I do like I do stick with Asian people. Do you think your family culture is different with American culture? Yes, for sure, yeah. So your family sometimes asks you something, force you something? <laughs> yeah, yeah, my mom always asks if my friend is Asian or not, if they're Vietnamese or not, yeah. If I dated a white guy, they wouldn't like that at all. They don't like? They don't like. They prefer your family Asian guy? Yes, yeah. Especially? Especially Vietnamese. Vietnam. <laughs> yeah. What's the most important thing in your life? Um, I don't know, I just like want to be happy, like, One when I'm done with all of this, yeah. Leo? Yeah, just like being happy and like financially stable, being able to support myself. How do you think of the future for America? Um, I think that it is polarizing right now, but I think that we can make a hopeful future and kind of reaching common goals instead of looking at what is wrong. I think that we can possibly find a, um, some hope looking for what we can improve and they come together on so improve america itself or the world um i think both i think it's hard because we're both world citizens and american citizens and i think that for the world to be successful i think that america needs to be successful as america i think if you take the america first there's nothing wrong with it yeah <laughs> i'm chinese oh nice so how do you think about china i think I don't really have. You don't really know. I don't really well, know. no, I mean, I I don't know too much, but I mean, I know it's very large. That's kind of it. <笑>开个店什么的从中国搞点产品来这里面应该有销量你别说你只要卖的便宜销量不可能少一直学生多哎你别说真的哦你可以的我我我可以哦他拿个什么什么时候有有那种店要承包你跟我说一声这肯定学